Okay, given f of x and g of x, we're asked to determine if f and g are inverses of each other. So are f and g inverses of each other? Now, recall that functions, two functions are inverses of each other if and only if this scenario holds up. If f composed with g of x equals x and g composed with f of x equals x, then the functions are inverses. Okay, so let's go ahead and find f composed with g of x, which equals f of g of x. Okay f of g of x. Well, that's f of this expression. f of 1 fifth x plus 8. Well, f of x is 5x minus 8. So f of this expression would be 5. Then replacing x with this, that's 1 fifth x plus 8 minus 8. Okay. Let's get rid of these parentheses and do some multiplying. So this is 5 times 1 fifth x plus 8 minus 8. These 5's cancel and I'm just left with a 1 here. So that's just x plus 8 minus 8 equals x plus 8 minus 8 equals x. So we have our first part, f composed with g of x is x. Now let's see if it works out for g composed with f. Well recall that that's going to be the same as g of f of x. Up here f of x is 5x minus 8. So g of 5x minus 8 is what we're looking for. I need to evaluate g for this expression. This function when x is 5x minus 8. So that's 1 fifth okay, of 5x minus 8. And then I'm going to add 8 to that. Okay, so here I have 1 fifth. Now let's get rid of some of these parentheses inside to simplify. 5x minus 8 plus 8, getting rid of the inner parentheses. That's 1 fifth. And then I have negative 8 and a positive 8, so those become 0. So it's just 1 fifth times 5x. 5's cancel out, so that equals x. So g composed with f of x is also x. So are these inverses of each other? Yes. f of x and g of x are inverses of each other because these two hold true. f composed with g of x is x and g composed with f of x is also x. Okay, that concludes this lesson of educator.com. Thanks for visiting.